first spin will be a one-turn spin to the left. Take the power out, engines idle. We maintain altitude. We let the plane slow down. With the stall comes to us, will be left rudder yoke back, enter the spin. There's a half a turn, three quarters, one. Opposite rudder, yoke forward, and we recover from the dive. Gentle pull out, no need to pull aggressively. We return to level flight, power is in. Okay, level 5,000 feet, power out. We'll spin to the right this time. Bring the stall to us. Right rudder yoke back. And we enter our spin. We get the spin going. Recovery, power off, ailerons neutral. Opposite rudder, yoke forward to break the stall. And recover from the dive. And we're out at 3,700 feet. Power's in. Next, we'll look at rolls, aileron rolls. We'll start off by doing full aileron roll. Left. Aileron roll to the left. With power. Nose up. Roll. A little bit of rudder. Push at the inverted. Keep the plane coming around, and bring the nose back to level. Let's look at that again to the right. Nose up, stop, roll, full aileron. A little, bit of little push at the inverted, keep the plane coming around, and nose back up to the horizon. Next will be recovery from an unusual attitude using the power push roll recovery method just power off, push on the yoke, not push to the firewall, just a slight push to get the nose up and make sure you're not pulling back, and roll the plane over. And it's important to get full aileron in for the roll and get that plane rolling back over. Let's get the plane inverted in an unusual attitude. We find ourselves in an unusual attitude, power off, push, roll. And recover from the dive. We're going to do the power push roll unusual attitude recovery technique again. The nose up, we'll get the plane rolled over. We find ourselves in an unusual attitude. Power off, push, roll, and roll towards the sky. Take the shortest path back to level flight. As we uh, fly out to the practice area, let's work on a few Dutch rolls, get the feet warmed up. We roll left and right, keeping the nose on point. Slowly at first, and then more bang. Knife edge to knife edge. Lots of rudder. Keep that nose on point. Full aileron deflection. My feet are warmed up. As we fly out towards the practice area, we'll work on Dutch rolls. We're going to roll the plane side to side. Keeping the nose on point. This is an excellent exercise to practice eye-hand coordination. So we start with shallow amounts of bank, gradually increasing, keeping the nose on point. Generous use of rudder. And the whole idea is to be looking over the nose, keeping the nose on a point, and roll the plane side to side, increasing the bank till we get to the point where we're knife edge to knife edge. 90 degrees of bank. Lots of rudder. It doesn't need to be done fast. It just needs to be done accurately. Now to change things up a bit, we're going to yaw the nose back and forth, keeping wings level. So let's go to the left first. We start pressing left rudder, and we'll need to bring in right aileron to keep the wings level. And we go back and forth. Again, it's an eye-hand coordination exercise. 
We should get to a point where we're using full rudder, yawing the plane back and forth. Full left rudder, keeping the nose and wings level. Using the appropriate amount of aileron. Very good. When done incorrectly, it looks like this. If not using the right amount of aileron, as you press left rudder, notice the bank coming in. That's the coupling of roll and yaw. Now I'm going to press right rudder, notice the right bank. I'm keeping the ailerons neutralized. Now as I press left rudder, the nose yaws and the roll comes in. So the key in this exercise is to keep the nose yawing back and forth and the wings level. And that's done by applying opposite aileron. Excellent eye-hand coordination exercise. As you get comfortable, you can do it faster and faster.